Hi, welcome to Donsky Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can publish and subscribe to MQTT messages over WebSockets. This sample MQTT over WebSocket JavaScript project simulates the setup of a typical Internet of Things ecosystem. There is a publisher page that acts as the source of data just like a sensor that is reading some parameters like the current temperature and the subscriber page that displays the list of sensor readings published by our sensor. In the middle is our Mosquito MQTT broker which handles the message exchange between the publisher and the subscriber. The browser cannot directly communicate with our MQTT broker. So what we are doing here is wrapping the MQTT message in a WebSocket envelope. The receiver then unpacks this WebSocket envelope to retrieve the MQTT message. Now let's go to the actual demo of the project. I have here my Mosquito MQTT broker running and the project for the publisher and the subscriber which you can find in my GitHub repository. You can see it in the link to my GitHub repository is in the, in, in the description of this video. And what we're going to do is just run the subscriber. So to run the subscriber, let's just right click and open with live server. Same also with the publisher. We open with live server. Now when it is run, then we're going to see the following HTML page displayed. The left hand side is my publisher page and my right hand side is my subscriber page. On the subscriber page, we type in the topic that we want to listen to. So for example, temperature and click the subscribe button. It says that I am subscribed. So what, we're, what it means is that it is ready to accept messages for any topic that was published by any publisher and the topic name is temperature. Now on the publisher page, we're going to publish the same topic which is temperature. So assume for a moment that the publisher page is like an IoT device like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi connected to some temperature sensor. So for example, we send the temperature reading to our mosquito broker and what we are expecting is that our subscriber should receive the message and display it here in the message text area. So for example, I'm going to type 30 degrees Celsius and click the publish button. So as you can see, the message was received successfully and it says that it's 30. Let's try another one, 26. And you see that it was received and let's say 35 and you see that it is 35 now we're going to unsubscribe to the temperature topic which means that the our web page the subscriber web page should not be receiving any updates from our publisher so i'm going to click unsubscribe and you see that i am unsubscribed right now if we publish something in the publisher page say for example 27 and click publish nothing should be added in the message text area because we are unsubscribed to that particular topic let's try again let's say 36 and click publish so we have not received anything yet now we're going to subscribe back to the temperature and what we're expecting is that we should receive the same message from the publisher let's try subscribing so let's say i am subscribed right now so if i type the new temperature like 29 degrees celsius and i click publish then you see that i am now able to receive let's try again publish okay so which means that our setup is running and we are able to send and receive mqtt message through WebSocket. which is really how mqtt works over WebSocket. now let's go over to the code If you check the publisher or the HTML or the subscriber.html, then you would see that we are using a library called mqtt.js, which we are importing to CDN or Content Delivery Network. Next, in the 
page subscriber.js which is our JavaScript files that handles the MQTT connection. I have declared the a variable called MQTT client here. And the MQTT client is initialized in this function, which is the connect to broker. So as you can see, it says that MQTT.connect and it assigns the return of this variable, this method into our MQTT client object. Notice that the host or the URL that we are passing starts with WS, which means that I am using the unsecured WebSocket URL. Once we have the connection, we can now start subscribing and unsubscribing to topics which you can see in here. So this is an example of subscribing to topic. And in the subscribing to topic, all you have to do is just call the dot subscribe method of the, our MQTT client and then passing in the topic that you want to subscribe and some uh, options parameters. So for example, QoS is the quality of service. While in the apps unsubscribing, we just call the un dot unsubscribe and we're just passing the topic name and some options which for example in here is our quality of service. For the publishing part, all we have to do is call this method, which is the MQTT client that publish, and just pass the topic that you want to pub publish and the message that you want to send to your MQTT broker. So the next question is, how do we receive the message from our MQTT broker? That is where we add what we call as event. So there are lots of events in the in this particular library, but we are more concerned on the message event. There's also the connect and the reconnect or an error, which gets called whenever something wrong happened with the connection. So we just end our connection when we receive an error. So in the message event, which is in here, we call a callback function. And the callback function will tell us the topic and the message and the packet also. We want to take a look at the MQTT packet that it sent. And what we're doing is just to extract the message and put the value of the message inside our message text area. That is all actually for the code and on how you could leverage MQTT over WebSockets. The companion write-up of this video contains much detailed explanation of this project. The write-up and code can be found in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Keep exploring!